Oh. And what of it? That's what I thought. What was I doing? Green. I was doing green. So to speak. I got enough? I got enough. Surely. Sixty-two nights. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Did my pathfinding go up a lot lately? Seemed a lot faster. <laughs> Uh, cool. I'll take you both. You can get lots of experience for these people. Nice tree, dark wood. Anyway. God, I wish my horse was as fast as it was in the overworld. What was that? You taking a swing at me? Because I can't tell. Come on, let me aim. Stop this at once. There's true lords though, isn't there? Alright. You're gonna end up that last guy. I'm gonna go find the other lord. Kill blocking me. Now what? Hmm. What happened to the other lord? I got him. Parish, that one. I'll go punk yourself. How you doing? It's a damn rude. Yes, hello, welcome to the channel. <laughs> Hey, I asked you how you were. Ah, you never appreciate the positives, do you? Huh. You're so human. Always focusing on the negatives. Did you see that block? That block was pretty good, though. Really? 
<clears throat> Apparently the fair owner thought they were getting a new map for free. What? How long have they been running this? He backed off saying, well it's done now, so... What's done now? The payment? <laughs> Is it done? map it's <laughs> yeah it's done now so hand over the cash how does America can be the most capitalistic country in the world and also expect everything for free everything costs except when it comes to the things I want the use of it for the it's boomers and Gen X. It's, it's it astounds me What do they call that? It's a... Uh, cognitive dissonance. It's a generational cognitive dissonance. But who would remember can confirm that? What are you doing? Where are you going? Goodbye. Drive straight! I'd like to report one of my knights for forcing under the influence, please. I imagine that's a real thing, it can really harm somebody and the horse. 100% my mom thinks she can just talk and I'm always listening. Actually, I think that's just a mom thing. My mom does the same. Although I'm a bad listener, so maybe that's just that. <laughs> maybe that one's on me. I used to be a good listener. Then I got older and I could... <laughs> I could no longer... <laughs> withhold my... introvert tendencies. Give it another five years and... <laughs> I'll just tell people to stop talking. Ooh, nice flop. Like, apparently the netting fell in front of the chicken shed, so a bunch were inside and she asked, Did you close this? 100% assumed she was talking to the chickens or the dog. What? <laughs> she repeated it three times, then I was like, I'm talking to you. Most people, like, once say a name. Hmm. Yeah, that's true. Oh, sorry. You're gonna have to buy my attention. <laughs> Five dollars a minute. Start that service, but uh, even if being paid to do it, I probably still couldn't actually provide the service. And I'm paying you to listen. Oh, yeah. Maybe you should try just paying me. Five of you! Five of you couldn't figure out how a rock works. Four of you managed to get it eventually, and one of you still couldn't follow the f 
<laughs> the fucking example. There you three got it. Amazing. She has a habit of randomly saying the same shit multiple times. I think that is just mums. <laughs> I guess they get used to their kids not listening. Especially when talking to the animals. The animals? It's like, <laughs> hey, hey, I'm talking to you. Chicken. Chicken, I'm talking to you. Actually, I think it's time she got put in a home. That's, uh... Isn't that the second sign of madness? First is talking to yourself, second is talking to chickens. And repeating yourself. I told her that's why the dog doesn't listen, he just assumes she's <laughs> threatening. <laughs> Have you been. Yeah, Alright. It's a long, boring weekend. I had a headache for like three days straight, that's fun. Was quick. When she feeds the one cat, she'll say, wait a minute, like five times. Oh, that's just venting, though. I'll do the same thing to Ellie if she's, like, sticking her face in the bowl as the food is pouring out. That's, that's just... Nah, that's just normal pet talk. Oh, come on, let's go multiple times when she insists on trying to get her, hurt the chickens in. Oh, that just sounds like normal pet talk. I have 222, goddamn. Remember how amazed I was when I could have 100? <laughs> I can't even support that many with morale. Okay. Alright. So we have one castle left, right? Which means they're all gonna be fucking... Which means they're all gonna be fucking... Um, no, it means they're all gonna be <laughs> gathered inside it. This village actually has some money, but I'll buy you a chicken. And, uh... And, uh... We got enough meat and pork. Uh, fine. You can keep the two dollars. My gift to you. Exactly, it's annoying I'm trying to ignore it, but it also means ignoring her when she's talking to me about it. Is the castle called Orgy? Castle Orgy? Must be French. Wait, who's this guy? Where did he come from? I just saw a green... Half this game is... <laughs> now, committed to, like... Muscle memory. Sort of green spot. Clicked on it. Now I'm in a fight. Where did he come from? Logi. Castle Logi. There's a Monty Python joke in there somewhere. You're not invited to the orgy, you sniveling pigs. <laughs> Let's 
It's much less event eventful weekend than last. We got rain Saturday morning, but that's about it. No, the teenagers kept themselves under control. And you managed to abide by gravity. And the snake didn't make another attempt at Grand Theft Auto. The one act moved fully to our stage, so we have six acts throughout the day. Is that more than normal? I'm surprised how much does seem to be going on at this six week long medieval fair in the middle of buttfuck nowhere America. I admit, you surprised me already. To the set, the shed, so she's blind at the moment. So, what, like, it's really dark in the shed? Doesn't usually seem to bother snakes, does it? <laughs> usually a scent based predator. <laughs> usually it's full. How long is it open each day? The current councillor made it. I just saw a group of people debating about cutting through a field, so I walked over to egg them on, and it was him. What? <laughs> Wait, what? Where did this come from? <laughs> no, like the snake is shedding. Ah, oh, they have scales over their eyeballs when they. So when those separate off, they essentially go blind. Really? Gangs over your eyes. Who you know? And humans, I think that's a disease. Damn it, Leslie, you idiot. Six nights in order to do it. Random shit happening at the fair. Well, that's fair. <laughs> yeah, but it's called in blue because the eyes look whitish blue for a time. Really? Must be easier to sleep. Cheese. Wait, we got plenty of cheese. We have stocked up on everything. You can never have enough cheese. What's that? Oh, people. As long as they stay away from the castle, maybe it's better to leave them.
<laughs> Look at this. See, they've got nowhere to go. They're all so concentrated now. Oh boy. How does King Yaraglek have 200 again already? And why isn't he in a city? He's, they've got two cities and they all sit in a castle. He's using dev tools. When was the last time I beat him? I swear I beat him last stream. And he's back up to fucking 200 already? From what? The four villages they have? Five villages? Oh, sorry. Wait. Yeah, five villages they have? So he's getting 40 per fuck recruits per fucking village. Away from the castle. <laughs> Julie? Haven't we been through this song and dance a million times? Dead tools. Yeah, they're opening up the fucking command console. Like when reptiles shed. Back when I used to do my pet sitting, my uh, uncle and cousin asked me to look after their uh, uh, their blue tongues while they went away, and I'd never looked after any reptiles before. So I knew shit about them. <laughs> so when I got there, and they have five of them, and four of them were eating, but one of them wasn't, I was like, for several days, I was freaking the fuck out. Like, I can't get. I'm sorry, I can't get your lizard to eat. He won't eat. And then they told me, oh, we must be shedding. Yeah, they just won't eat when they're shedding. Like, for real? <laughs> I thought he was killing himself. But yeah, no, 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 they'll just go weeks without fucking eating while they're shedding. It's like, nah, I'm good. Eating's for losers. <laughs> That plus that same one was also one of the few that shared a tank with another lizard and got its tail eaten off by one of the others. All in all, a traumatizing pet sitting experience and they will never have lizards. <laughs> Don't eat except when they fucking eat each other. Give me a fucking rabid rat before that. <laughs> to trade. You have no money. Oh, well, I'll take your beef. Sausages? How are we doing on sausages? I can take your sausages.
Ooh, who was it? Ugh. The measure again? Wait, hold on. Who just left? So he's gotten 12 more people while he's been sitting in there. Are they all breeding in there? Hang on. Who's fighting? Who just left? Uh, the two... Oh, who just left? Get away. Don't get away from the castle. Need... King Aragleb gone. Rudin can stay, whatever. <laughs> you know what? That's fine. That's fine too. I'm happy to do this in the open. You fucking idiot. You <laughs> Have you not seen all your men run away? They dare not even come close to the castle because I'm there. Oh well. Lead by example, I guess. Good king. Look, there he is. <laughs> Good king. <laughs> yeah, this is fine. This works out great. Leslie, you fucking idiot. The snake gets fed once a week. And she ate last week, I don't know if she'll eat more shit. Or if she's anything like loot sounds. No, not even slightly. I'm surprised it didn't give up breathing as well. Then you sure he's not from the rabbit game? Well, fluffy horde. God, you remember that. No, I'm having fun. Can't possibly be from Fluffy Horde. There's already a dissonance there. <laughs> You're such a picky gamer. I'm a picky gamer? I'm the most variety variety streamer there is on this platform. bitch about the variety. Well, what's the point of being variety if you don't have opinions? What a waste of time. Killed who don't? Sharpshooter. Eh, whatever. Straggler. <laughs> he thought he was being smart. Getting out of the main group.
So what you been playing? Ooh, nice. <laughs> no, you asshole. He was mine. Oh, he was the last one left. He was everybody's. Insanity Simulator, okay, being an artist. Welcome to real life. No need for a game or a simulator. Until you try the sequel. <laughs> Alcohol, alcoholic simulator. The artist's rendition. I bought a few games: Scorn and Timberborn. I do want to give Scorn a try someday. I think I have it. I've actually played a few minutes of Timberborn. I just couldn't be- <laughs> I wasn't in the mood for learning it at the time. I can be a bit more involved than many city builders I've played. Which is good. It's a very interesting concept. I was just tired at the time. <laughs> I also apparently downloaded some demos back in June. Again? Was there another demo fest or something? Spend some of my thing I can make you clean. Is that one of the things? Was... I don't even remember what my things are anymore. Were any of them choose the next game? I thought I did do that. Maybe I should. Oh, but then I have to explain all my stupid rules about... <laughs> about how games are picked. Is it still in early access or is it fully released? Did I get it in fully? I don't know. I don't know. I did have an idea of what to do after Mountain Blade. Could just as easily be Timberborn. Have we done a city builder? We haven't done a city builder. Maybe it'd make more sense than what my plan was. What are you three doing? Past AK okay, again is last summer. Eh? I think he deleted the redeem. Did I? I think it was something else. I 
think it was like if you'd redeemed a drinking game three times or something. You get to choose which game was being played while drinking. In the grand scheme of things, I guess it doesn't work too well. That's probably why I removed it. It's still in early access. Ah, well, yeah. <laughs> Wait till it comes out. Alright, well, that makes things easy. Stay away. That's what I thought. I know, I just hoard the points. <laughs> no kidding. What was it? Three no Jesus Christ, get a life in. <laughs> Meh, life is boring. Eh, no kidding. Boxy win a bit. There seems to be something here. Cool. There we go. Owie. He got me. Oh, he got me. Lock off the stairs and I'll do this again. I'll do my pokes. Good. No, you've gone too far down. Damn. More arches. Mm, yes. Tell the people about trying to get. trying to explain junk food. Telling people about trying to explain junk food to an Australian is a good tidbit of information. Eh? That was a run on sentence. Are you, are you achieving anything? What? Maybe he was. He has. Amazing ability to go through objects. <laughs> I might have just slaughtered history's first superhero. Now that sounded heavy. There we go. No mirages. Who's that? That's a fucking tree. Tree people! What's the difference? Uh, wait for reinforcements. <laughs> It's not working. Look <laughs> at the fucking... I'm collecting enemy arrows. Meh. Still smarter than fucking stamp collections. Say wood, but dealing wood woodworkers at fair, I'm not so sure. Woodworkers as well, right? Eh? 
Did they have... What are they called? Death Eaters? Sin Eaters. At the fair. Can't be medi medieval life without Sin Eaters. Actually, no, they came a bit later, didn't they? Shit! <laughs> oh, this guy. He really wanted to get to me. I haven't seen any. Yeah, no, no, I think... Wait. What period was Sin Eaters active? Sixteen hundreds. Right. Yeah, thereabouts. <laughs> Maybe a bit late. <laughs> I lost sixteen. Shit. No. God damn it. Adam. You're not making this easy to help you. God, knights are overpowered. Look at that. <laughs> Look at the hits he's taking. Wait a minute, what the fuck? No, 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 I'm not leaving yet. What the fuck? I have n God, all the times I've played this game and it's sequels, I've never seen anything like this. What the hell? Can I keep him? Can I keep him? I should keep this castle, just so I can have this guy. I'm gonna ask for this castle. I don't really want any more castles, but I'll ask for this castle. Just for the de uh, yeah. decorations. This is a lot more decorated than most castles. Is this the Halloween castle? What is this? Ah, oh, kick me out. <laughs> Wayne's gimme shield. The crossbowman. Man at arms. The sharpshooter. The footman. The militia. The infantry and the knight. Cool, cool. Sweet. Easy money. There, they have no more fucking castles. Oh, they're mad. <laughs> now they're running. <laughs> they're mad. I... He's mad I took Radigate Castle. Oh, I thought he was mad I took his... His skeleton. With the oversized head. And apparently couldn't decide whether they wanted them dead by a stab in the back or by drinking poison. Well, some developer got bored at one point. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> Thank you, Dilbert. Four of you ought to be capable. the middle of these people.
I like how we were just all fighting around the corpse, not noticing it was there. Like, it was directly in front of me. <laughs> Half that fight in there. Bet my bloodlust was up. Just don't know about Ryan. Actually, technically, he was turning right. So I guess technically he had right away, but you know, shut up. <laughs> Leave that body alone. Soldiers, not degenerates. Come on. Says the person who <laughs> demanded a castle be given to him because it had a skeleton in it. I want it only for perfectly reasonable reasons. City building games and how I complain a lot. Yeah, I complain that in variety, we're actually—I think we're actually very limited by genre conventions. We're far too comfortable with them nowadays. I feel. Finally, like, occurred to me, right? That city building is probably the most, like, blind to it, right? Because I was watching, like, videos about Skyrim. I've been watching videos about Skyrim. And how many mods there are that add city building elements to the game. And people are talking like... It's funny that there's no actual first person city building kind of games. Despite the number of mods for like Skyrim and Fallout and whatnot. And the and the popularity of the system in Fallout 4, indicating that clearly there is a huge market for a more personal, like, first-person type city-building game. That just isn't really being tapped into. Like, the mods are one thing, but you'd think when Fallout 4 came out and had an in and you know a vanilla system wholly dedicated to that concept like people would realize yeah, there's, there's something to that but no like when you think of a city building game it's it's basically what SimCity set down and nothing else <laughs> It's always top down, it's always very impersonal. They will say Starfield was that. Will they? Maybe No Man's. No, it's not city building. Base building is city building. Different. <laughs> 
The idea being that there's personal interaction with citizens and things like that. And there's, like, direct use to the player character for the things, the functionalities they're building. It's like how it makes sense <laughs> in a city building mod or in Half Fire to build a home with. Oh, yeah, there's Half Fire, but that's just homes. That's basically a base building thing. <laughs> But take that concept of base building, where you build yourself an alchemy table or something and extrapolate it into a, a large concept. Get to making it? Mm. I'm busy. I'm too busy complaining about games to make games. You know, typical, typical gamer style. But I think it goes to show, it's a, it's a, it's a very defined example of what I'm talking about. You have this expectation in the genre of city building that it's overhead and impersonal. You're a fucking god. <laughs> Builds and <laughs> who builds entire districts out of fucking nothing, but some tax money or some resource gathering in the case of like banished and timberborn. <laughs> That's me. play games and I have opinions. We done yet? No. <laughs> hey, that ain't an insult anymore. Nerd culture is pop culture. Okay then. <laughs> Two killed. How many are left? Fifty one. Fucking idiot. What do I keep telling you people about getting surrounded? And yet it's all they fucking do. Saw that coming, you asshole. Don't stop. Got any European Union friends there? I have to ask again because you're my entire following. So to do my part, <laughs> I'll just badger you. I 
think you're the only international I follow. I asked about friends. I don't think we are. Still. Get that written into law. I come. I think the law they're specifically trying to write in is that. game company would be required to plug in some kind of support uh supports uh, not support some kind of system that would allow a game to be continued after support is dropped I don't, think was, I don't think they're very specific on the method. I don't know Ross, the guy who pretty much started it. He was a great guy, by the way. Brilliant channel. I love his game dungeon stuff as well. And I remember what I remember watching Freeman's Mind when I was a kid, and <laughs> even though I barely understood the jokes then. I never would have thought. Oh, hi, Suki. How you doing? Never would have thought. Nah, this would be the guy that will start a cause I'm actually interested in. But yeah, he outlined it was either... I will Build it in such a way that um, private servers can be hosted. Oh, it was like three different offers you had. I think the other one was after support dropped the source code, but that was <laughs> least likely and not required. And what was the other one? I'll just remove all online requirements. After support is dropped. See, it seems simple. And the idea being that, you know, you only have to do it in the European Union because it'd be cheaper for a company to, uh... I mean, since they have to build the support system anyway, in order to continue selling in the European Union. You may as well implement that same thing into the American products, the Australian products, Asia products. Is the skeleton still there? Yes, it's still there! Man, your wrist is fucked up worse than mine. This guy was a gamer. I saw Logitech trying to make a Rolex out of computer mice. What the fuck? Why? Ozzy, do you read me? No. What did you say? Oh, don't shit. Yes, hello, hello. Good evening, everyone. Where's my sword? You didn't have a dingy pole. Uh, Make you have a subscription to your hardware. Oh, 
Oh, the logic trying to make the Rolex of compute. Oh, for some reason I read that as they were trying to make like a big Rolex out of the parts of computer mice. I was like, is this some kind of weird art project? Wait around in case they give the castle to me. Ah, uh, you know what, actually, it'll be fine to go to Raverdin, at least. Right, you fucked up my arm so bad, Cubital Tunnel. Cubital Tunnel? Cubital Tunnel? Is that have they. Are tunnels measured in meters cubed? What if they're a round tunnel? I mean, technically, you still do that. <laughs> I didn't pay attention in geometry. Fuck that. Sausage! Why aren't you people eating your day-old beef? Maybe you haven't touched your day-old beef. Yeah, I heard your stupidity, don't worry. Oh, thank god. Maybe you haven't touched your roll. Stop laughing in my cubital tunnel. Is this now uh What's it called? Uh, oh, for fuck's sake. In your window. In your end, though. <laughs> Square tunnel R. Damn it, if they end up giving the castle to me while I'm away, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> So many nights. Square tunnel. It's like couple tunnel except on the ulnar nerve instead of the median nerve. Wait, are you being serious? I thought you just fucked up bad. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> They've gotten- <laughs> they haven't got anywhere to patrol anymore, so they just destroy all my shit. Son of a bitch, bro. I, I didn't do it, you did. You and your cubital tunnels. Did you mean to say cubicle tunnels? Is that like the same as a prison escape tunnel? You gotta get out of the prison that is an office cubicle. No! Shit! Shit, 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 shit. You bastards, I knew you'd do this. Durian. Mercenary crossbow, man, you'll do. Come here. Ah, shit. Never mind. <laughs> Why do you always do this? Why do you always wait till there's like two cities left and then declare war? Many castles no longer under siege. Oh, that's good though. At least they'll start defending that. <sighs> yes, I'm willing to serve as Marshal. And yes, I'm Marshal. Congratulations. <laughs> I mean, my opponent put up a good run. Or some shit.
Yeah, I know. Blame it on Swadia. When your funny bone nerve gets bonked extra hard on the static arm feeling doesn't go away. See, now, now it feels, sounds fake again. Alright, everyone piss off. There's all that. We can have the sergeant as well. And the infantry, fuck it. Where are you going? There is a capital tunnel. Just like a tunnel for money laundering. Ah, sucker. Yep, I'm going the opposite direction of traffic. There's a big ass nerve running right below the skin of your funny bone. I assume so. I mean, the funny bone reaction had to happen for a reason. Is the lit gone? Of course he is. Feel it with your hand. I'd rather not. That sounds disgusting. Mellow, stop feeling your nerves. Ironically. Right, so that nerve is compressed for me, and that compression is called cubital tunnel. Well, I didn't expect that to just come up, so... But I'm sorry your funny bone is on the fritz. Have you lost your sense of humour? Yes, this humorous now is. <laughs> I mean, I know most people lose their sense of humor around this channel, but. In general. <laughs> So here's a conversation we can all enjoy peacefully. I was talking to someone. Unfortunately, I do that occasionally. Despite my best efforts. I was talking to someone. 
And they asked me... Like, for, you know, just for background, I'm, I have no religious beliefs, I'm completely atheist. And they asked me if I wanted to date someone who was theist in some way. Ryan secretly wants to be a guardian to a creepy child demon, that's the secret. The secret? What secret? I'm saying anything about a secret. We're having a happy conversation here. <laughs> Clearly. Of life. That's the secret. Wow, that's a disappointing secret. It pertains to all of life. Just so I can be a creepy demon guardian. Also, me guarding demonic things is hardly a secret. I just, I just went through all the effort getting a castle so I could have a skeleton. And some like, pumpkins or something. And gourds, and the... <laughs> Got him. Anyway. Would, yeah, so they're asking me like, if it was a deal breaker for another person you were interested in, that you didn't share their beliefs, would you convert? And my answer was, it's not about would, it's about could. I don't have, how could I possibly convert? I don't have any religious beliefs. And they were saying, no, 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 you, you could, you can convert. I'm like, what do you mean? Do you mean you could just pick up religious beliefs when you simply don't believe? And they're like, yeah, yeah. And it's like, and I, I swear, that's <laughs> not how it works, right? This isn't just me, right? It makes no sense that... Like, I know people do convert for relationships, but I think that means they're open to religious beliefs in the first place? I don't think it's an issue of... Well, you're just not willing. I think it's an issue of like, well, you know, I just can't. <laughs> It makes no sense to me. But they're like, no, 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 that's not how it works. Was this person a moron by chance? No, this person was ex is usually exceptionally smart. Someone I rely on a lot. But this, this particular conversation confused me. Because they're like, no, no, people convert for relationships all the time. I'm like, yeah, I get that. But like, either they're converting for the community and not the actual beliefs and they're just hiding it from their partner, which is kind of fucked up in a way. I mean, you can still be part of community if you want, that's fine. But you're lying <laughs> to yourself, to everybody. Or, you know, they were open to the to belief in the first place. I'm not suddenly, like, even if I told someone I was going to convert, I wouldn't suddenly actually be Christian. I'd also be lying. It's like, I go to church, but, uh... <laughs> but, you know, I just kind of mumble along the words of the prayer. <laughs> Is it? And I guess having me second guess myself, like, because they were so insistent, like, no, it's a, it's a, it's a matter of would, not could. It just sounds like you're unwilling to, like, and willing to, I, t I can't. I may love the person with all my heart, but it's not going to change the fact that, in my head. In my view, religious beliefs don't make any sense. Like, I just can't work that out in my head, logically. I was asking if you would play the Long Kong. Yes. 
Would you <laughs> would you devote your soul to Jesus if you could smash? Some people can brainwash themselves into theism. Yeah, that too. I think it comes down to that idea of like the idea of community and like you can be brainwashed into a community first and then have the religious beliefs come later out of like just being surrounded by that kind of pressure, religious pressure. But I think that's almost like a different case. <laughs> If you surrounded yourself with a bunch of people that insisted the sky was red, that thing in your brain that makes you want to fit in so you don't get cussed out of the group will be like, oh yeah, okay, the sky is red. There's, there's a different psychological thing going on. Smelling beef. Baby, I haven't touched your smelling beef. What's wrong? Right. It makes, am I exceptionally smart? You're the exception to being smart. I'm kidding, you're great, Mellow. <laughs> Yeah. I'm saying we've had the community. We've had the community? Um, confirmation bias is a big one. Yeah, I suppose. I suppose it's that too. Under siege by who? Fine. Why do I still have a battle over here? What's going on? That is one thing of the fair. There are a lot of alternative religions around. As agnostic, it feels kind of stupid sometimes. As an agnostic, it feels kind of stupid. When you, as an agnostic, when you be more open to a variety of alternatives to the major religions. Owie. Oh, I got him. I thought I got hit. It was him. What alternative religions are there at the fair? Please tell me Zoroastrian, Zoroastrian, Astrian, Astrian, Zoroastrian, Astrian, Astrian, fuck, that one's making a comeback. Please tell me, Zoroastrianism, Astrianism, Zoroastrianism, Zoroastrianism. Fuck, what was the word I was having difficulty with the other week? We're doing this. Ah, Quetzal... Quetzal... Quetzal Coatl. Zoro Coatl. Quetzalus... Quetzalineism. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Fair amount of paganism. Nice! I call the cult of the <laughs> cult of Cthulhu my official religion. When the census comes back around, I'll try. Not in a, not any. Zo ah, fucking hell. Not any legend of Zoro that I know of. <laughs>
<laughs> Throw wrenches, you fucking idiot. Every time. <laughs> oh my god, it's... <laughs> Holy shit, it's goddamn paganism. Is he allowed to say that? Like my brief neighbor says, she had dreams for like a year and fully believes it was some kind of religious time trap. Uh, yeah, okay, that we call insanity. That we call delusions of grandeur. Although, personally, I'd call <laughs> most religions delusions of grandeur. <laughs> She gives her dice the blessing that it will roll well or fail in hilarious ways. Ah, she rolls dice. Give her like knuckle bones to roll as a gift. Put knuckle bones in that um, lucky draw thing you were talking about. I know people saying that that always happens, strong confirmation bias though. Heh. <laughs> Bad lucky draw. When are you saying there was a. I swear last week you were talking about some kind of lucky draw or something and you... And you put in a trick present or something? Uh, what was it? Like a piece of paper that unfolded to say something was like- What was it? Swear to god! Oh, the, the note. The fake- The fake money. Look, I remember. I remember things you said. Aren't I such a good person? There we go. He's off. Got him. Lord Harish. Again? Oh, the trinket trade. I don't know what the difference <laughs> There's about to be like two brain cells having a domestic dispute over there. <laughs> actually, it's just the one brain cell. It's just the one brain cell, actually. It's having an argument with itself in its head. I don't know. Does pussy count as confirmation bias? I'm still not convinced. <laughs> Must be real good pussy. <laughs> Somebody left a hundred dollar, left to prank a hundred dollar trick. Yeah, I thought that was you or something. Spidey Knight killed by Lord Harish. Where is the fuck? I need those knights. But I was fine with her being there and eventually leaving a little with a little kid. She said she was gonna get all her friends away. Yeah, I remember that bit. I guess that's probably why I assumed it was you. 
Maybe I just want to believe I'm the only one here. Who, I'm not the only one here who wants to make kids cry with fake money. Just for one, just for one minute. I want to believe I'm not alone. Let's let every fucking time get away. I thought you were down. Oh, that was horrendous. Ah, uh, aren't you always down though? <laughs> I'll get in. <laughs> okay. Oh, right over his head. So, what you been playing, Miller? You been doing anything? Does your curb stomp tunnel allow you to play games still? Well, you know. <laughs> Do I? Just Joe ever watching. Good man. No honor of my boy Biden. <laughs> Good for you. I don't usually get into this, but I thought it was funny today that oh, I got both of them. So many prisoners. But I thought it was funny that um I saw a th uh, some quotes out of a uh, interview Trump did. Like in the past couple of days, and he's still <laughs> everything that's going wrong. He's still blaming Biden for us. Like you realize Biden's not even your opponent anymore, right? Shouldn't you be saying? Shouldn't you be saying Kamala is the source of all the problems in the world? <laughs> How does it help you to attack some unrelated person now? Same food. Tavern, what have you got? I had blades, I'll take them. Ransom broker, uh, I don't have. Deshavi, Traveler. Just the higher blades, alright. Can you go wrong with some crazy ass race and rant? racist rant? I assume so. I won't keep up. <laughs> This castle messenger post. Uh, I'm just going to get some people to 
that aren't Vegas. I have to put some of my own people in there now. Sharpshooter. I'll give you like 15. Uh, and you can have. I'll be generous. You can have 20 knights. 47, right? I should. Considering I killed all the armies around here. Hopefully I should keep him busy for a little while. Until this gush ten gush down Belugak uh, just left I saw him and I'm like he's not gonna do anything. Just fucking left. Until this gush down couple tunnels I mean sorry. <laughs> Instinct. You can't hide in there and also be sieging. It's not how that works. Hey there, bud. Little Julie again. Fucking hell. Maybe I feel like Trump is gonna lose. Maybe I'll be able to. I'm not gonna comment. I think I have a state election coming up this year. Who is it local? No, maybe it's local. One of the two. Like, which one would have been a good response as well? <laughs> Yeah, that too. Or just, you know, which part, considering every sentence he says is on a different... Every single sentence he says is in a, on a different fucking topic from the last one. So, which, which fucking sentence out of his rant? The one that wasn't about fucking hot dogs? Or about fucking... What was it? The legend... Uh, uh, what was it? Uh, Hannibal Lecter. Fuck you, you're good. Good luck with the siege, I'll be back. Trump was racist again. No shot, man. Keep taking us Americans for fools. What do you mean? I didn't say anything. I'll fuck the cop. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me, you can't get fooled again. What are you talking about? The only fool here is this Lord Curnius who thinks he can get away with this shit. Let's get in between here. There he is. Accompanying Lord Velishin? And where is Lord Velishin exactly? That was on the good pain bits. <laughs> Give him a pass, he was curb stomped in a tunnel or something. Jeez, I'm trying to attack that guy, but the text is all over him. <laughs> He's sa being saved by the fucking text. And I would have got him too, if it wasn't for that 
damn fucking text scroll. No, don't trap me in here. Bastards. I need to go get troops. Can you stop, like, being around? I just wanted one skeleton. This is not worth it. Yo, you're on the fucking Tylenol. Save me. Which one's the Tylenol again? Is that the one where you admit all your deepest desires? Or is that the one where you just sleep a lot? Or is that the one where you see some shit? They don't hand out opioids. Oh, it's an opioid. <laughs> The one that makes everything go dizzy. And they, they don't hand out the computers like candy here. I need to get back to NA. <laughs> Maybe you should start your own. Your own little opioid business. Do you for real not know of Tylenol? I've heard the name, I'm just not sure. Among the many... Many painkillers, which one that is. I get the feeling it's something probably not used as... frequently in Australia. Tylenol is acetamide, blah, blah blah blah. That doesn't help. <laughs> Tylenol is the most commonly used one, not an opioid. Eh, it must be different here. Eh, uh, they, um. My nan is in hospital currently, and the one they're giving her is called Endone? The paracetamol, oh yeah. I think it's chemically the same as paracetamol. Anyways. Well... So what, it's just another brand of, par of paracetamol? Our main brand is called Paradol. Oh, it is parasitic. Yes, yes, yeah, just a brand name then. Yeah, no, here are, here are our paracetamol, our main brand of, par bleh, of paracetamol. It's called Panadol. We don't have Tylenol. Tylenol and paracetamol are brands. I know paracetamol isn't the brand. It's the common name, isn't it? Did the ducks told you to stop practicing W W moves on Graham Graham? Never. She didn't want it, she shouldn't have gotten in the ring. Yeah, sausages. 
cheese have I got? You eat all the fucking cheese. Watchman, take you. Acetaminophen, Tylenol, and Paracetamol Panadol. Yeah. The same pain relieving medication. In the US and Japan, it is called Acetaminophen and Paracetamol in Europe and most of the world. The same medication. Okay. Yeah, it's just the common name. And Panadol is a brand name. Why does everyone want me dead? I'm only conquering the world. <laughs> he makes so many enemies conquering one world. God. Really? What happened to your gun? Will she move? Yes, she'll be fine. She's Broke her hip, but she's recovering fine. A seat to Minifin. Please take a seat to Minifin. <laughs> what do you call ibuprofen, or is it just ibuprofen? That's the same. Brand name is generally Advil. Is Advil ibuprofen? But Advil was something else. I swear Advil is something else here. No, it is plain. It is ibuprofen. <laughs> you know, I've never... I've never seen the ibuprofen... Advil product. I've always seen the, um... Uh... Like the, um... The one for like car sickness and motion sickness and whatnot. The one that makes you drowsy. Or is that Avil? Oh, it's Avil. Sorry. <laughs> Advil versus Avil. Ugh. Yeah, nause nausea medicine. <laughs> the proxin is a leave. Haven't heard of those. No, I mean ibuprofen is um neurofen. What's that one I can't take? It's um It's like ibuprofen, but it's sourced differently. Uh, what was it called? Voltaren. What's Voltaren again? It's like potassium something.
Thy fl- Thy coffin. Like clofinet potassium. Yeah, for a second, blah blah blah. <laughs> Shouldn't have started this conversation. I can't even fucking speak it. It's all beef and fish. Cluffinac is generally a prescription here. And for good reason. <laughs> it is a strong one. There's a reason I can't take it. I have never had any reaction to any medicine ever. Except that clon that Clofinac. Should probably be a prescription here. It is a Chemist only medicine though, you can't get it in in a uh, supermarket like you can with Panadol. What are we doing? Tavern. Mercenary horseman, you're not really for castles, but I'll take you. Gesundheit, tell me about it. The hell am I saying? Uh, how's it going? That'll be done in a day. Alright. Uh, your chicken and honey and bread. No one here seems willing to join you. Fuck you. I'm gonna wait here a day and see if you change your mind. the village manor or mill let's go mill manor can be lost these people don't like me fair enough Shit bin. These people don't want to help me. <laughs> Did I already come this way? I guess I must have. Did I go to the tavern? Caravan guard, sure. Butcher? Butcher what? Bless that that that. We're gonna start abandoning soon, so I gotta get back quickly. And the mage is back. Ikamua is no longer under siege. Ikamua? They went all the way out. Wait, which one's Ikamua? Oh, no, that's. That's, uh, that's the Nords and Khan's business.
Did they take back a castle? You... Oh... Spadia, really? Yeah, I got you, you fucking people. Alright, what do we got? We got Caravan Guards, all yours. Rodok Tribesmen, all yours. Oh, yeah, they can upgrade. No. Oh. Wait, let's upgrade everything first. That's a lot of militia. Hold on, we'll be here a little while. There we go. Watchmen, crossbowmen, footmen, men at arms, crossbowmen, sharpshooter, knights. Alright. Sorry, horsemen. How many is that? Why doesn't it give me a read? That's 68. Uh, we can keep like 20 of them. Under 36, that'll do. What the hell's going on with this castle? Who said you could take back castles? I didn't give you permission. Uh, let me... You can all be skirmishes now. Need my crossbow people back. Julie, again? Didn't we just talk this through? I swear this is the third time I fought you today. You ever had to beat a man three times for him to fucking get the idea? That maybe he should just go hide under a rock? Laurentis, fuck off. Damn it. Anybody? <laughs> Anybody? No? Alright. I helped, I guess. Maybe? No. He looks like dead. <laughs> yeah. You know what movie I watched the other day? Doctor Sleep. I mean, something I've been meaning to watch for a while. Because there's something. Rotten beef. God damn it. Leave it with the dead. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave my beef here with the uh, dead people in case they want it. Shall we kill the farmers? Is that the marmot again? That's almost harvesting season! 
Good to know, thanks. I'm not aware of the calendar. <laughs> if only to stop their economy, these people will die. Oh, I watched that one on a plane once. Yeah, because there's something uh, interesting about just the concept of a sequel to The Shining. Because, and I stand by it after watching the movie and enjoying the movie, Doctor Sleep, but I'm still convinced The Shining is not a sequel I a sequel kind of story, you know? <laughs> I did I did really like Doctor Sleep. But um <laughs> Why I just I still couldn't tell you why it exists despite <laughs> enjoyment. For fuck's sake. I really thought it was like 4 out of 10, can't lie. Really? I don't think it was the greatest movie ever, but I quite enjoyed it. It was weird to me that it's kind of like a superhero movie in a sense. Which is again why it confuses me as a sequel to The Shining, because it's like from very slow, thoughtfully paced psychological horror to <laughs> to superhero story. Oh, I've got a lot from it. I was I was like really exp there we go. I was really expecting it not to be based on a book, but no. In fact, Doctor Sleep is, in fact, a uh, Stephen King novel and a sequel to The Shining. <laughs> I remember something that pissed me off so much. Oh yeah, go ahead. Cause that little girl just got over her dad's death. Like, oh yeah, that was that was weird. In fact, she was very she was characterized very weirdly. It was like child. Then she realized she was powerful. And then she's like, actually, I'm just gonna be a plot device now. But I don't really care. The, the story is about Dan, uh, Danny, Dan, whatever. Go for it, just go, be my body shield. Which is what confuses me, right? Because being a sequel to such a popular story, such a famous story, there was no way you were getting in there, getting in a sequel without fan service, right? At some point you have to, you have to cover the events, the elusive events of The Shining. And yet, when you get to that part at the end of Doctor Sleep, it still feels so forced in there. It's like, you have to do this, but doing it will also never seem natural. Yeah, because she had some badass scenes, but otherwise incoherent. Yeah, those are the things. She was just, she was just a badass plot device. Dan was the character, even though you, like, the, the main character with an arc, even though you spent half your time with the girl. Oh, and that shit with the girl at the start? Like, why they add her? Well, that's just horror movie, you know, first victim, typical thing. Genre conventions, what was I just complaining about? You know the girl lured and killed child predators? Oh, that girl, right, yeah. 
Oh yeah, the girl they told us was 15, but was clearly played by like a 28 year old actress. <laughs> that was, that was very weird. That was you to me. Just to have the character besides the like main bad person who could make people do things. I mean, what powers did any of them have besides that girl and the main girl? With the main bad girl. Really. None of them are shown to really have powers. Except maybe, uh... I don't know, is, uh, what's his name? Crow? Was he ever shown? That powers? I don't remember. Oh, uh, he's just like. I think he's just told to be the one who tracks them down. Yeah, he's never really shown as far as I can remember. But no, but like, what? She was there at the start, I thought she would be more important. She had a kissing scene with the villain, did she? I must have blanked that one out. It's just there to tell you that... <laughs> it's okay to be a predator as long as you're a woman, I don't know. Take you, and you, and you, 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 we're people. No rewards. No, 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 I don't want it. Give it to someone who will actually defend it. Hey, do you have any money? No. Fine. I'll just trade you for your food. Eh. Yeah, just start at the bottom. <laughs> you receive. I will not actually, because they can't afford that. Take uh, that back. There we go. Since I have to wait here until Sasuke gives the fucking castle away. Why do I have to pay 34 bucks a night? God damn it. Then the only notable thing she after that she did was die. Well, she did kill that unimportant other character. Not that that really served as any motivation for the... <laughs> Wait, they were drinking uh, the blood of sacrifices. Yeah, they just didn't want to. They just didn't want to share with us, you know. Like the main drawer of the movie. Have you given this castle away yet? main draw of the movie was that it was the ending in the old building with all the shining fans at it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying! It's, like... it's weird to explain that all. Even... It's weird to have a sequel specifically made to explain all the stuff that was specifically made inten like intentionally obtuse and interpretive. In a movie famous for being obtuse and interpretive. Beluga cup. Really? Oh, 
Oh, he gave the finally. But I'm remembering something now that you mentioned the 15 year old girl killing that. Yeah. That was, that was her whole role. <laughs> she was there to do that. Tell me about your skills. And she gets shield. Do 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 take. That's a lot of fish. Got a lot of bread. That's good, we only have one fish. Only one fishy. Beluga castle's no longer on the <laughs> Fucking idiots. Some soldiers are ready to upgrade. Good. Nice, we got 68. Will that be enough to take a city? Now, I was hoping we would take green last week, let alone today, but they're really dragging out this war. Taken one castle and taken one castle back. <laughs> and the rest of the time has been <laughs> just fighting the same people over and over and over again. So yeah, it's a, it's a movie I enjoyed, but I'm very confused about the existence of. Oh my god, I just remember why I watched, I just rewatched the forest scene. I remember why I so much. Is it because they all have fucking superpowers and they end up having a gunfight? Fucking 15 year old kid. <laughs> Played by someone who clearly isn't 15. It gives that weird anime predator vibe where it's like. Oh, it's okay, she looks like a child, but she's actually a hundred years old. It's like, gives me that vibe. It's like, oh, yeah, she's supposed to have the appearance of a 15-year-old, but technically she doesn't age. She's actually, like, 23 or something. Then shut up. Because there's a point where she puts Ian McGregor's character to sleep, and right when he's about to kill him, she says, Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was weird. I mean, I guess it's kind of in character for her. That was her whole shtick at the beginning. But at the same time... Like, I think... 
the slight majority of the people in her camp are men? Does she just not interact with them? Does she exclusively interact with the with the women of the camp? But it's still only kind of in character because that does. <laughs> For a girl who kills predators. Why she chose to have an absolute <laughs> sexist rant against Dan of all people. And then her final act is right before dying she tells the guy who shot her to kill himself. Yeah. So what is the message? I think it's just so they can show how the uh, what are they called? The the knots. How they like recruit and come to be. The most a real predator. <laughs> yeah. Also, what kind of an evil villain group name is the Tide Knots? That's, uh, that's a weird one for me. The book probably explains it better as a metaphor, but the film doesn't bother. If this was accurate to the source material, then jeez, the books must have been bad. I don't think it was. I, like The Shining, it seemed to have been changed a lot. In some ways that seems better, in some ways it seems worse, to be honest. Like, the book still wants to have its fan service, but also try and move on from The Shining. Because from what I read in the book, the, um... The Overlook Hotel was already torn down, and turned into a camping ground that the, the cult already uses. So when they go there, they find the cult already there anyway. It's like, not so much for the plan to use the evil of it or whatever. And yet, despite, I don't know. You know what, I don't know. Believe it or not, I don't know. Are you Stephen King thing? Not particularly. I haven't read a single one of his books. <laughs> Though I probably should. And I've seen... I've seen some of the more famous movies based on his books. I've seen It, both the newer ones and the old one. I've seen The Shining, I've seen Doctor Sleep. What else is there? Can't remember. I feel like there is another one I've watched. Not particularly a bit of an understanding. Like his work seems interesting, I just Reading takes up a lot of time, as I found out reading all of Lovecraft's works. ever be able to read so much in my life. I guess I should choose. <laughs> Carefully. Wow, I leveled up. I didn't think that was ever going to happen again. It, Carrie? No, it wasn't Carrie. I haven't seen Carrie. It was another one that I was surprised to be based on a Stephen King novel. Lovecraft a little loony goony, aren't we all? Wait, do that again? Do what again?
Pet Cemetery? No, I haven't seen that one, but I do want to look at it. I do want it. No, it wasn't one of his more famous works, which is why I was surprised when, like, the opening of the movie said based on Steven King, like, oh, really? Put your hands over your head. Uh, it... You have to wait until I decide to say something really loudly. Screw you, Mello! Did that do it? Was that enough? I don't know. The, uh, I admit the, uh... Oh no, it worked. It didn't- Oh, it didn't work for when I actually thought I was yelling. That's me in a nutshell. I can never make myself yell. Too introverted. But I'll do it all the time without consciously thinking about it. But the, uh, the detection on that thing is a bit wank. A bit wank? I think I wanted to say wonky or jank. So, wank it is. My character there, he's a bit wanky. You know, he, he, he does a bit of a wank. I didn't know you could do that. Do what? Have it. Well, it's a uh, little wanky pinky. <laughs> it's uh, not something you'll find in a like a VTuber program. It's I, d I did it the uh, the hard way, which is why it's so jank. <laughs> Because it's not a it's not a moving image like even other PNG tuber characters. Like I don't like the whole bouncy the bouncy light up look of how a PNG tuber uh, plugins work, but. But admittedly, just having OBS say, change to this picture at this volume, is also pretty fucking jank. And looks a little weird. Oh, oh, hello. Look, it's from Dr. Sleep. You ain't no VTV or a 2015 era anti SJW YouTuber. Well, now you've ruined it. If I thought PNG Tuber was bad enough, now you've ruined it. This will officially be my last stream. Thanks, Miller. Just call me Quarren of a Card. A fucking creep. Oh no, people already call me a fucking creep. So you can wish where's I am. Oh, you know, I can see it, Bursky. Too much honesty. Learn to tell a white lie. Oh, this saga on days, man. Ain't even. Ain't even. I used to unironically watch that crap. And like, SJW owned compilations. Like, oh, Jesus Christ. If there's one thing I can say I've improved about myself since I was a teenager, it's that I don't watch that anymore. <laughs> and that is it. In all other aspects, I'm still a stupid teenager. But at least I understand perspective. <laughs> Slightly more than I used to. But I still don't understand it. They did to my boy, they being themselves. 
Fat feminist destroyed with facts. Oh yeah, that was the other thing. Destroyed with facts and logic. Jordan Peterson destroys. <laughs> Femme Nazis was with facts. Yeah. Ben, Sh ben Shapiro demolishes liberal college. Yeah. Ben Shapiro, Jordan Peterson. I feel like there was one more to make the trio. Am I done here? I can't believe I fucking level up. Alright, what should we go with? What do I really need? Let's go Chris. Uh, doesn't give me anything. into writing for now. I'm the guy more charismatic. Charismatic. Well, there's a lot of people in there. Probably get a party going. Oh no, he's leaving. Oh no, they're leaving. Never mind. What's wrong, guys? Do you want to come into your castle or not? Jordan was such a lunatic. I don't know how anyone took him seriously. Well, I kind of, like, at the very beginning, when he wasn't... Psycho-psychologist man. <laughs> who would throw off his wacky theories as proven facts. Oh god, like, he's, he's fucking lectures. <laughs> well, it was just the beginning and all he was, like, saying was, like, he doesn't think language usage should be passed into lore. I'm like, oh, okay, fine. That makes sense. Freedom of speech makes sense. But also free, like, you know, freedom of consequence. That's something you don't need the lore involved in particularly. I feel. But then everything after that, everything after that was... Every word that came out of his mouth after that was done. Okay, but who was your fave anti-SGP? Who did you stand for? Oh, it's got to be, uh, Shoe on Head. I still don't mind Shoe on Head. She has a sense of humor. And she's updated. She's updated her, uh, her content a bit. So it's not so much. Uh. SJW's destroyed with facts and logic. She particularly just had kind of a sense of humor that she'd throw at stupid articles. So I, I don't mind she on it. I still think she can be entertaining. But all the others, all the others, I got another card. The card. Then I can't even remember the others. Who was the one that? There was an Australian one who used a, the image of a bear, and just like. The most un-Australian thing. <laughs> so, you want to represent yourself in a mascot form as an Australian, but you choose a fucking bear from America? Like, what the hell? Do you remember his lecture? <laughs> Half of it was the fucking Bible, bro. It was a psychotheologist. 
I remember the Bible stuff. I just remember half his lectures on like gender roles and stuff. And it's like, and you find like he'd say it's so factually, and you find like you know, in all these cultures, women f tend to f <laughs> fall into these roles naturalistically. It's like, no, shut up! <laughs> no, you don't. It's a theory you just put out. You queen bestie for life. <laughs> it helps that she's really hot. For sure, for sure. She was so fucking lazy with her Hell World videos though. She would wait two to three months arguing to her and could hold them to her. Nah, it's okay. Her Hell World was not what I was really interested in. Would she just find a silly article? And make her her millennial jokes at it. <laughs> that uh, that's peak. What's peak shoot? Just millennial humor. Millennial Gen Z humor. Bearing. Oh, bearing. Yeah. Who fucking named it after the bear? There aren't any Australian bears. Even a koala bear isn't actually a bear. Might be somewhere adjacent to that line. But it's not actually a fucking bear. Same thing with a dog. There was someone who used a, a very similar looking dog image. Barry's girlfriend also had a child. Yes, that's right. The T was, I think, birthday channels got fucked because they just stole the image of the bear. Did they? Oh god, that would be. S of all the images to steal. He should have been an emu. And had PTSD flashbacks to the Emu War. Would have been peak. <laughs> it was covered. Hugh, I'm starting to think you just followed Shu because he was hot. Hot and funny is a good mix. Hot, funny, and crazy. <laughs> I have two out of three of hot, funny, and crazy. And none of them have anything to do with temperature. Delusion. <laughs> yeah, that one. Yeah, they basically lost their channel, so did a pathetic comeback with a new bear picture. Did they? Really? Yeah. Probably should have just moved on. Like that that whole genre of YouTube is not as popular anymore. Oh shit. 25 killed versus 172. Well. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fine, I'll fight you all. 64 versus 400? That's fine. That's fine. Hi, Suki, how you doing? But what about. What was. Oh. Uh, Skep Armored Skeptic, Shoe's fiance. He was a little bit of a weirdo too. <laughs> he, he was he was kind of a weirdo. Probably best they aren't together anymore. Arm sore, what did you do to arm? Suki's sick in the arm. Suki arm is sick in the arm. So nowadays you just have Daily Wire affiliate channels reacting to TikToks and calling it political commentary. <laughs> Did anyone take Daily Wire seriously? I remember like a month or two ago Alex Jones channel was threatened to be shut down. Did that ever go through? What was it called again? 
Infer Wolves? Yeah, there we go. Did Infer Wolves ever officially shut down? I feel like the Joe Rogan podcast was also in danger. Crazy people. Baby, want to turn like a man, but really. Just <sighs> what I know. You know what? Uh, never mind. I'm, <laughs> I'm glad not to know about these things anymore. I am very happily ignorant that somehow that genre of YouTube still survived. <laughs> After 2016, I thought it was out, and I'm gonna keep saying that. And keep pretending, <laughs> keep believing that. I was working out with Dad, and he's 50 times stronger than me, so he was doing more weight. Oh god. And you didn't... You didn't try to do his weight, did you? I think InfoWars was banned years ago. Was it years ago? I thought it was, like, last month. Or something. Or earlier this year, rather. Where are all my guys? Are they all dead? I think all my guys might be dead. Oh no. They're still out there killing. Suddenly this war took a turn for the worse. What the hell is that? <laughs> and suddenly physics took a turn for the worse. Glad to know I'm always up to date on all the gossips. <laughs> Gossip is the right word for that. For a news... <laughs> quote-unquote news channel. Or commentary channel. It sure is a lot of gossip. There we go, am I single-handedly bringing this back? Oh no, there's more. Nobody was pushing me past my max. Jesus Christ, what a bad what a bad spotter. Oh shit. My horsey. Oh Jesus. <laughs> That's not good. Get some stragglers, please. Yeah, you. On the end there. I miss my horsey. You can't let your old man embarrass you in front of the hoes. Oh, were there hoes? Were there gym hoes? Or gym bros? This guy. Oh, Jesus. Did you snap tear or anything? God, you didn't tear anything, did you? <laughs> Shit. It's me. Uh, no, I just <laughs> almost dropped my bowl of rice. What? Your bowl of rice? Is lifting a bowl of rice past your. Uh, past your limit? Oh shit, 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 oh shit. We will fight you to the end. Ah, 
fuck, I'm not healed yet. And there's even more of them. <laughs> Whoops, daisies. So where are my so-called swords? I thought we were at war. <laughs> I may have, I may have pissed off an entire nation. That's fine. That's fine. Come in here. Whew, five thousand bucks. No help. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Well, we didn't take green this time either. And they took back red. Oh, Jesus Christ. Every time. Every time they go to war, it just makes it harder. It's me and the hobo. No, no, no. Jim Slut. It's 2024, they're putting chemicals in the water that turn the bros into frickin' hoes. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Bros and hoes before hoes and bros or something. My daily workout is eating. My daily workout is entirely in the brain. Just remembering what I'm doing at any given moment is like... 50 calories burned. Bear like ugh. Which hotties you sh shamelessly follow on interwebs? She on it? <laughs> I think it's about it for me. I don't have in I mean I have Instagram, but I haven't been on Instagram in like a year and a half or something. So uh... I don't have that route. Men are hotties, just just hotties. It's a genderless term. Okay, we get it, Q. You got a thing for raccoon eyed bitches. Thank you. Just wanted you to acknowledge that. Well, Suki, what about you, Mello? Who's your bitches of choice? Bitches or bitchettes? No, that's, that would be the same thing. Bitches or sir bitches? Do 3D anime men count? No. Yeah, I know, that's the same thing, isn't it? I can't do anything, it's always... Suffixes are always added to turn a male down into a... into a feminine noun. A masculine noun into a feminine noun. It's never the other way around. Correction, raccoon eyed American bitches. <laughs> Don't you know I'm all about those American bitches? Can't seem to <laughs> can't seem to get away. Okay, fine, yes they can. They do not. <laughs> Silas? Who's Silas?
I don't know, bro, I used to follow hotties when I was younger, but now they're not in my feeds. <laughs> ah, he's matured. Mellow has... Mellow... Our dear Mellow has grown up. He's now more into the hotties of the soul. You know? I don't use TikTok and Insta almost at all. Yeah, I don't use them either. <laughs> it's from her only one was from YouTube. From my phone game, my hot... Alright, alright. <laughs> Can, we... <laughs> Can you keep it to real people? With non-virtual genitalia. Oh, at least thanks bring me that right. Oh, okay, there we go. Does it count if they're like a real world celebrity? It's not an interweb celebrity, like Mello said. Do you know, like guys that I buy look at these all animated men on my phone? <laughs> um, so this is an uh, interesting call out this is. Noah Sebastian, Bad Omens, Courtney LaPlante. Didn't ask about celebrity crushes. Oh, I'm sure I've not matured one bit. I just completely fucked my feed. Just, just take the compliment or something. I don't know. I don't know. I just got here. I date women IRL but bang anime men on my phone. There's, a, there's probably a term for that. Did you buy? <laughs> Real women, but digital men. Bigital? Bigital? This difference. No, looks like my anime men. No. <laughs> oh no. We need to have an intervention. Suki's comparing. <laughs> Suki's expectations of real life people have merged into a view of digital people. Oh boy. Porn has destroyed your mind, my friend. Your expectations are unrealistic. God, men just can't live up to these expectations anymore. We're expected to be 2D and shit. God. Alright, 148 should be fine. Did I go into major? So let me go get the hydraulic press and some light skinned Asian. What the fuck? Right, this will do. That's why I date women. I mean, same? I guess I can say I'm not attracted to real life men either. I'm just not attracted to <laughs> 2D men as well. Hmm. I'm halfway to Suki Gay. UK and that's okay, we support your home arrest. We love gay sluts. Me and all my homies are gay sluts. Ah, oh, Jesus, Miller. 
<laughs> if there's one thing I support less than a porn addiction, it's contributing to society. No, no jobs around here. That's quite enough of that. I'm sick of this conversation. I can say that because I'm an introvert, so I'm leaving. <laughs> Clearly not enough work, she needs a second job. She's in America, give her time. It'll happen. I work six days, no thanks. Oh, please. Real Americans work eight days a week. Um, now this week, mm, might be a little weird, I think this week it'll be, streams will be, not tomorrow, but Thursday, Friday, and probably Sunday? If not Sunday, then Saturday, but I, I think Thursday, Friday, and Sunday, probably, most likely. <sighs> Suki too hard to work at America sucks, man. Oh yeah. Sorry, I forgot about the eight-day week. There's no eight-day weeks, but there are eight-day work weeks, somehow. That's just... <laughs> I have no... Absolutely no doubts that American capitalism can sustain a paradox like that just to pull more money out of the poor. Well, this was a very charged stream today. I love it. Be back on Thursday and we'll discuss Prima Nocta. <laughs> My gacha says otherwise. You do everything your gacha says? If your gacha says to jump off a bridge, would you? I know the answer is yes. I'm going. Goodbye. <laughs>